hey what's up guys once again welcome back to my channel so today we are designing a requested drawing so let me show you the exact image of that drawing by using image I will draw it so let's start this is very simple drawing but only you need to know the technique of the drawing so firstly select the top plane and click on sketch let me choose the three point arc command and draw the simple arc I'm choosing the random dimension because I only need the profiles dimension you can change further so let me take it as 300 R or R as 300 and click on endpoints and use the dimension as 306 and give the relation between the center and end point as horizontal then exit sketch we need to take a plane for extruding that our profile so let me choose the top plane and click on reference geometry click on plane choose the direction and the dimension of the and the dimension of the plane or the offset of the plane dimension offset dimension of the plane click on ok then select the plane 1 and click on sketch now we need to reflect our top plane sketch on plane 1 so click on sketch and click on convert entity so it will reflect on plane 1 then go to the sheet metal then go to the lofted band and select both the sketches click on ok now this is our basic design is ok or the base flange is complete now we move to our edge flange firstly I need to show you these are the bending lines not are the cutting lines so let me flatten it as you seen these are the bending lines not the cutting lines as per shown in the 3d view these are only bending lines so let me unflatten it then go to the edge flange and select both the ends and select the flange length and select the flange length as 20 mm click on ok now our both side H flange is complete so we need to draw the top and bottom side H flange so select H flange and select the all the edges of the lines which were highlighted at the back side portion so select them all so I am selecting the lines and click on it so it will selecting it then similarly at the bottom side select all the lines I will select them all now 
select the dimensions and click on ok now it will take a time so here we finish now firstly hide all the planes let me show you the exact profile and the flatten view so this is exact sheet metal this is the correct object you can draw like this if the object is not flattened then it will wrong my object is flattened so it is truly correct if you wanted to draw a sketch on it so let me select that face and click on sketch now draw the circle or rectangle as per your requirement i am drawing the circle so let me give the dimension to that circle i am giving the random dimensions to the circle so let me select the vertical dimension and horizontal dimension as well as i'm selecting the random dimensions so it can differs from the center or offset from the center then go to the extruded cut and select the direction as through all and click on okay then we get our extruded part this is the perfect part now we can again add the both two circles like a plug line larger circle at the center and two smaller circles at the left and right side which looks like a plug in to some cable then i'll give the random dimensions to that circle to constrain it now again draw the random circle or you can choose the center line i'm taking center line and mirror our smaller circle or the 15 diameter circle with respect to the center line which we have lastly drawn now exit sketch so it will take three circles extruded now our object is complete our bend looks like a small than the others so we can change it so i'll take it as 25 and click on okay this is not correct now we can again change it i'll take it as 30 click on okay now it will be correct now h to h is h to h matching is confirmed this is the only method by using which you can draw the this real object in sheet metals this object is now flattened so it is perfectly drawn sketch